It's good to see the water subsiding and crews like this out cleaning the roads. But a lot of you have reached out to me on social media and asked what kind of impact is all of this water for so many days going to have on the pavement? So I reached out to an expert. Rain falling hard and fast combined with aging infrastructure led to this. Filling the freeways fast with what in some spots appeared to be eight or nine feet of water for miles on I-94 trapping cars and semi trucks for days. With all that water just sitting there, it's really not good for it at all. Zach Stevens is a third generation owner of Black Rock Paving in Kenton. We do anything from parking lots to driveways, you know, roadways. We do just about anything. He says roads are constructed in layers for strength and durability, but this much standing water does damage. Think about all the weight that that water is. It's just sitting there. It never moved. Today, on day four of the freeway closure, the water is finally drained and crews are cleaning up the damaged vehicles and debris. But just because the flood is gone doesn't mean the problem's are, especially in areas where the pavement is cracked. Deteriorated areas where the rock kind of gathers and it's loose, all the water just sitting there is going to push that out and peel it back and then it's going to get down underneath and just, you know, create a, like a loose area where it's soft and then it will just wash out and you know, be a big problem. This image from a European study done on water's impact on roads illustrates how water can weaken the layers beneath the pavement. And when other cars go through and semis go through, it's going to shake everything underneath and get it loose. And then what's going to happen is the asphalt's going to fold. Leading, of course, to potholes. For such a long stretch of freeway, a visual inspection is likely all that can be done, he says. Only time will reveal the extent of the damage beneath the surface. I wouldn't say they'd have to worry about driving over it once the water's gone, that they're like going to go in the ground or nothing like that. I wouldn't say that. But it's just, you know, going to end up costing everybody more money in the long run. So. That's the thing. Michigan State Police say that MDOT has crews inspecting the road as they clean it. And once everything is cleaned up, as long as there's no more rain causing any more problems, the freeway will open. In Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.